There's a trend that we're now seeing across the nation, symbols that evoke a painful feeling, reminders of a darker time in our nation's history are being removed, including statues and monuments. And now the question is being posed, should the national anthem be changed? I asked that question to folks on my Facebook page and a lot of you quickly responded with the words no and an exclamation mark. The Star Spangled Banner was originally a poem written by Francis Scott Key, who historians have recorded as a slave owner. I spoke to local historian David Nolan, who has spent the last 40 years of his life fighting to preserve history. Nolan tells me generally he gets very alarmed when people start to talk about removing or changing history because it's often done unwisely. But he points out there is a difference between preserving history and honoring it. Take a listen. All history, you know, all phases of history, while we keep the records of them and we don't dispense with them, we don't honor them. And some things are just not on the slate to be honored for the next century. And that gives us a chance to say, well, who are the great people in the last 150 years that we might like to honor? Nolan went on to say our nation is now in a reevaluation period. He posed an interesting question when I asked for his opinion about monuments and statues honoring Confederate soldiers being removed in Jacksonville. He said, if you were starting from scratch, would you honor these people? Now, we want to hear from you. Should the national anthem be changed? Go to firstcoastnews.com slash vote. Now, so far, we're seeing 94% of you say no, it should not be changed. And again, you can chime in. Again, that's firstcoastnews.com slash vote. Now, hidden within the lyrics of the national anthem are certain words that are adding to this controversy. Let's get out to Brooks Baptiste. He has 